So something that was just said in that committee meeting and I wanted to step out, it wasn't just said, it was said a little while ago. I started recording towards the end of it, but the chair of the committee said that there was a rape case in New Hampshire a few years ago in which a guard at the Shea Farm, which is like a female halfway house in Concord, uh, had been raping several of the women that were being uh, held there. Um, and he said that it was noted he didn't specifically say in the defense, but he said there was some implication, I presume that the aggressor in that case stated this, that uh, the victims were targeted because they had been charged with prostitution previously. Um, they may have been held there for other crimes, but they had been known criminally by that system to be prostitutes, and that was one of the reasons that the uh, aggressor in this case actually targeted them. And I thought that was very noteworthy, that an agent of the state because a state law exists, criminalizes someone uh, further because it, it's like sanctioned by the state, so to speak. So I just wanted to make note of that.